Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T and honey. When I seen this person trending, I was like, what year is this? 2011? Like the hell? Do y'all know that Vibes Cartel, honey, still has access to his damn social media pages? So for y'all who don't know who the hell Vibes Cartel is, he's the dance hall king. You know love man, so take your yaya for me. I feel your same girl I try out for me. I'm a fight for this fight where you fly out for me. I'm not drink street fight, so she high out for me. I did a video about him years ago when he ended up getting locked up. Um, and they ended up finding him guilty of murdering his associate, Clive Lizard Williams, okay? And so he was found guilty and he was sentenced to 35 years in prison. But him being sentenced to 35 years in prison in a Jamaican prison has not stopped this man from dropping music weekly from prison, okay? So he's still maintaining the title of the Dance Hall King, but he became very well known to us here in the States for bleaching his skin. He went from a chocolatey, beautiful, you know, brown skin tone to being like some pale, pasty looking corpse with ashy purple lips. Okay, he scared me when I saw the new Vibes Cartel. Okay, so this is why the Dance Hall King, aka Vibes Cartel, is causing controversy now. Okay, so what's going down is that basically he took to Instagram and he went in on black women for wearing weaves, for bleaching their skin, for dyeing their hair. I'm like, really, sir? Uh, really? I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Vibes Cartel had to say to all black women out there. Let me go ahead and put on my Mother Goose glasses and read this shit to y'all. I couldn't believe this shit when I seen this trending. So Vibes Cartel says, 99.9% .9 of black women cream their hair or wear Caucasian wigs. They braid their hair, put glue on it, cover it with the wig made from the white woman's hair. Then they flash it as if it's their own while taking... <laughs> <laughs> while taking selfies or pretty pics at parties. Question, are you Brazilian, but you want Brazilian hair or some other form of hair that's not African? As a matter of fact, black people call white people's hair pretty hair. Shake my fucking head. I've seen people in church with cream hair and false hair praying to God. You're hypocrites. <laughs> You're hypocrites because if God made you with your hair, why do you change it to look like someone else's hair? God made a mistake? Shake my head. Black people quick to say things like, oh, my grandmother is white or my auntie, grandmother, cousin come from England or you know me father, mother, nephew, pon me auntie, side of Indian. Black people check yourself before you check someone else. <laughs> Do y'all believe this shit? Vibes Cartel, if you don't sit down and do your damn 35 years in prison, you damn killer. So he can't come onto his Instagram page and encourage young black boys to not follow, you know, in his same footsteps, to not murder somebody, you know what I'm saying? But he can come onto his Instagram page to shame black women for wearing wigs. You know, and this is what just annoys me with some of these black guys online, that they're so worried about what black women to do to their hair. And to me personally, it shouldn't matter what somebody does to their hair. As you guys all know, for like five years straight, I wore nothing but my natural hair on YouTube. And guess what? It didn't make me any more popular. It didn't make people love my natural hair more. If anything, the trolls, that's the first thing they always went for was my hair, called me nappy headed, went in on me and everything else. You know what I'm saying? And they still talk shit, you know, now that I wear a weave. So it doesn't matter if you wear your real hair in an afro or if you're wearing a weave. People are gonna talk shit about black women regardless of what the hell we do to our hair, okay? And I just hate this whole narrative that if you're wearing a weave, somehow you're ashamed of your hair or somehow your hair is unhealthy. 
You guys know I posted pictures on my Instagram page of my natural hair. I've made tons of videos in my natural hair. This was the most recent picture I posted a few months ago. And my natural hair is longer than this fucking weave. My natural hair is damn near to like the middle. Wait, no, it's past the middle of my back. Some of y'all were saying it was almost waist length. I don't think it's that damn long. It's like my natural hair is like way down here. You know what I'm saying? So I take very good care of my natural hair. You know what I mean? For me, it's a lot easier to wear this as a protective style while I'm growing my natural hair out and it's not being stressed and everything else. The only thing I have to do is just wash my natural hair every other day, you know what I'm saying? Oil it up with coconut oil and peppermint and stuff like that. And my hair is fine. You know, I don't understand why hair is such a big deal. Like I get it if you're wearing hair because you know, self-hating or people have never seen your hair, but y'all have seen my hair. Y'all have seen me rock natural hair. I don't have nothing to be ashamed about. My natural hair is beautiful, but yes, my ass can slay some wigs. So I'm not gonna allow nobody to shame me because again, the same people who will sit there and shame black women and say oh you don't embrace your real hair you don't like your real hair most of those same men are not even dating women who have that particular hair texture you know so I always find that funny that they'll type mess about black women not liking their hair texture but then you'll look at that same person's wife or girlfriend and they're usually racially ambiguous you know their their hair is closer to this weave than you know a kinky afro so I'm missing with the bullshit okay vice cartel needs to sit down somewhere it's very hypocritical coming from him okay I would respect this maybe if it came from somebody else, but you can't bleach your skin. You can't hate how God made you, okay? Which was a highly melanated black man. You had brown, beautiful skin, and you killed off your skin cells because you wanted to bleach, okay? You went through the browning process of bleaching your skin. You cannot bleach your skin and then call Christians who wear weave in church hypocrites. Like, I mean, this is crazy. This is a pot calling the kettle black. He didn't like his skin tone, so he changed it. And now he's mad at black women for wearing wigs. It doesn't make any sense because at the end of the day, I can take off this wig, okay? And my natural hair is just fine underneath. But you cannot go back to being brown. You destroyed your melanin. So to me, bleaching is a lot worse than somebody putting on a damn wig for a video or wearing a wig for a video shoot or just wearing a wig to go out. You know what I mean? So I just found this whole situation just crazy. When I seen that the damn poster of this rant was vibe cartel i was like really bitch really like i said damn it vibes cartel do your damn time and stop trying to preach to women about what the hell they put on top of their damn head okay at the end of the day people are gonna do what they want to do with their hair i don't care if you wear weaves i don't care if you rock an afro if you have dreadlocks do what makes you happy but like i've always stated on my channel take care of your real hair first okay take care of your shit before you take care of ming su shit okay your hair should be just as healthy as your damn wigs if you can sit there and deep condition your wigs and baby your damn wigs you need to be doing the same damn shit to the hair that's grown out your scalp okay point blank period you shouldn't be walking around here with all types of you know traction alopecia from glues and gels and stuff because you neglected your natural hair you neglected your real hair to take care of some weave okay i don't have that issue now that it's warm I probably will you know rock my afro you know every now and then but you know I, I'm gonna rock my hair how I want to rock my hair depending on the mood so unlike some of your faves y'all have seen my hair so don't come at me with that bullshit about oh you don't like your hair when I wore nothing but my natural hair for five years not one not two not three not four but five damn years straight on YouTube okay let me switch it up let me glow up let me try some new shit leave me the hell alone vibe cartel sir I'm gonna need you to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up worry about your bleach skin and your purple Purple lips before you worry about, you know what I'm saying, what the hell's on top of my head and other black women's heads, okay? Thank you. We'll see you in 35 years, so, okay? All right, bye-bye now. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this in time. Messy situation, honey, concerning Vibes Cartel trying to give black women advice from prison, okay? This man is literally in there for the next 35 years, but he's giving, you know, black women advice on what they should do to their hair. Like I said, it's the pot con, the kettle black. Let's go ahead and get the discussion and pop in, go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.